Hello again. This video is about the high current modification of the flashlight uh, SK98. This is from Ultrafire and I bought it in Fastec for around 7 euros or so. So people in the forums about flashlights, they will say this is a very low quality and uh, not worthy considering flashlight because they say the only good flashlights are with reflector. They are not with a lens like this. But in my opinion, this is much better than light with the reflector. Even if the lumen output of a reflector is better than the flashlight with a lens, like this one, the advantage of this one is that it will output a uniform field of light, like this. You see, from here to here, in all the parts of the field, you have the same intensity of light. In the other side, in a flashlight with a reflector, you will have a very bright point in the middle, which is the light reflected, and then a more dim part outside, which is the light coming out from the front part of the flashlight, from the LED, without touching the reflector. And this, I find it very inconvenient, because you have a super overexposed point in the middle, and much less light in the borders, so I don't know what's the point. So I think this is a very good flashlight at a very good price, but it comes with some problems from the factory, so I will show you how to solve them. This works with 18650 batteries, so some of these three. These are no brand stating 4000 mAh, which is probably not true. It must be around 1000. These are Samsung 800 mAh, and these and these are Sony 2000 mAh. So these three batteries work in this flashlight. And for comparison, there is an AA battery. You see the size. So the problem with this flashlight is that the, there was some connection problem. Maybe not connection, maybe I should say contact in the terminals of the battery. So w when using it, it was very easy to get dim. And then I had to hit it like that, and then it got contact again, and it was bright again. But what I did to solve this problem is the following. First of all, I thought it was a problem between the contact of this metallic part and the negative contact of the cell. So I added some tin here with a soldering machine to make a better contact. But actually, this didn't solve the problem, so this is not the problem, even if this can improve a bit the current capacity in this point. The problem is inside this pusher. So we'll check the inside. To open it, you need to rotate this counterclockwise, obviously. You remove this plastic piece, which holds the pusher. And then carefully you remove this. So this spring pushes this terminal to the battery. And then this, I will zoom it a bit. So this the battery touches this terminal. This terminal touches the spring, and this spring conducts electricity to this metallic piece, which in this side touches this piece, which is screwed to the battery. So the battery is the ground part. Sorry, not the battery, the, the body of the flashlight. So all the body is the ground. And the problem was mainly in the contact between the spring and this metallic part, plus this metallic part and this. So I bended it a bit outside and I inserted the spring to tangle it with this metallic strip. Before it was just put over the strip without tangling it. So 
So now it's tangled. It makes a bit of pressure over the metallic strip and this will make more pressure on the body. So to put it back like this. We push it in and before putting this piece what I did is to put a very tiny bit of oil in this thread but it's not mandatory. Like this everything goes more smooth. You screw it back. Now it's tight. The battery, the positive goes first, like this. We screw the cap back. And we have a much more consistent light output. It's insensitive to vibrations or heating. Okay, I hope this was helpful and you increase the capabilities of your SK98. See you in the next video. Bye.